In this video we are going to have a short introduction to the sitemap palette. This is the sitemap palette. This, like all the palettes in the UI, can be popped out and moved around just like Photoshop. Useful if you have several screens. The sitemap palette is where we create, organize and not least open pages. How you use pages in Axure will probably represent pages as you want them deployed in the end product. For example, a web page on a website. When you create a new file, it is loaded with a home page and three sub pages, as you can see here. You can drag and drop pages and add folders to indicate hierarchical relationships between pages via indentation. There's also a search facility that's useful for navigating a large number of pages. To open a page, you double click it. You see it open as a new tab with the page name appearing in the tab at the top of the canvas. There are two diagram types, page and flow. You right click pages to access a contextual menu, which provides this as well as other options. There's not a great deal of difference between the two diagram types except in the way that you'll use them, i.e. one is where you put wireframes, the other is where you diagram the process flow. You can also link the pages represented in the flow diagram to the pages you create. More on this later. There is a different icon for a flow page that indicates that it is, it is such. Uh, one other useful feature accessed via the contextual menu is the Generate Flow Diagram option. I discovered this one rather late. Uh, I used to build the sitemap manually, but Axure will generate a process flow based on how you've modelled the pages in the sitemap. Here you can see the simple diagram generated by our basic site architecture. If anything changes during the project, simply make the changes to the sitemap, then simply regenerate the diagram. 